Hey folks, this is Kenneth from BriefMobile.com. We're going to preview a little bit of uh, Gingerbread 2.3.3 on the Motorola HX 4G right now. Um, so this is the, actually the new home screen that comes with an updated version of Blur. It's got most of the same Motorola Blur widgets that you are used to on Android 2.2.2 Froyo on this device. But um, it does have a few uh, new ones. Um, the biggest difference that you can see right off the bat is that uh, Motorola's decided not to focus the widget sizes into a smaller box on the screen and it actually stretches them across the entire screen now. Um, also you've got a pretty nifty widget resizing feature. The trash can is now kind of on the top up here. Um, and widget resizing is actually really easy, so here we go, here's a calendar widget. All you have to do is go ahead and resize it like that. Uh, that's similar to the Froyo build, uh, but the newest thing now is the app drawer is actually uh, changed quite a bit. You now have app grouping, um, so I've created one group extra here, and you've got your all apps recent downloaded groups uh, by default and that allows you to kind of sort through your apps as you can see there's actually a lot of bloatware installed already on the device and I've installed my own apps on here overall performance is uh, comparable to Android 2.2.2 Froyo but um, maybe a little bit slower due to debugging and the fact that this is a beta build um, unknown sources is now here meaning that we can sideload on this device without uh, rooting the device first and changing any database settings. Uh, the double tap to home launch is actually a little more customizable now. You've got a few more options as well as a new none option which will kind of bring you back to the default Android no double tap home type of thing. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, the newest version of the forest wallpaper up here. It actually shows weather when you tap on the screen, so here we go, we got 66 degrees. Uh, the dock on the home bar is completely customizable, so if I wanted to put AT&T Navigator down there, I can just click on it, hold press, and then find that out. Um, our notifications bar is a little different. We've got a new feature that allows you to send away individual notifications as well as a transparent notifications bar that kind of rolls down with a fade effect. Um, you still have the AT&T logo up in the top left corner as on Android 2.2.2 Froyo and in general things are pretty similar to Gingerbread or to uh, Froyo rather uh, the biggest noticeable change, I think, is probably the over-scroll glow. It's hard to see because it's a really light blue on a white background, but uh, if you over-scroll when you're inertial scrolling, uh, it actually glows like it does in Android 2.3 on other devices as well. Uh, Motorola did take out the kind of the TV effect when you turn on and off the device. So, um, it'll be interesting to see if that can be turned back on. Um, in general, animations are actually a lot nicer now. Uh, you've got kind of an iOS-like animations with uh, the whole rotating box application thing um, that reads from the sensors. Um, and animations around the device are also changed a little bit. Uh, overall, most of the changes seem cosmetic. Uh, they're really sticking to a dark blue and light blue and white theme. Um, so we'll see if users like that more than the gray theme from uh, Motorola Blur on Android 2.2.2 Froyo. Um, that's all for now. Stay tuned to briefmobile.com for more updates on the HX4G.